Okay, so in this video, we're going to be dealing with uh, a relatively simple Python program. What you want to do is you want to create a program that takes two arrays A and B of length n, and both the arrays will be storing integers. And what you want to do is you want to return an array C that holds the dot products of A and B. So what are we talking about when we're talking about dot products? Basically, let's say we had two arrays. I'll just create some random. I'll just create two arrays with some random values. So let's say array A has two, three, four and we have another array B which holds the values 5, 6, 7. What you want to do in this program is you want to create an array C and the array C is basically going to hold the values of the dot products of each and every single element in A and B. So if you look at these arrays, A of 0 is 2 and B of 0 is 5. What you want to do is you want to multiply these and whatever the result that you're going to get, you want to store it in to the array C. So 2 into 5, 2 multiplied with 5 is going to give you 10. Similarly, 3 into 6 is going to give you 18. And 4 into 7 is going to give you 28. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the dot products for each and every single value. You're comparing both these lists. And for each and every single item in this list, you're finding the dot, the dot product and you're saving it in the array C. And basically this is the desired output that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and write the Python program for this. I'm going to be creating a function. I'll call it dot prod, short for dot product. And of course, I'll be taking in two arrays as an argument, A and B. The first thing that you want to do in this program is you want to check if the length of array A and array B are same. Because if the length is not the same, then you'll not be able to find the dot product for each and every single element in that list or in that array. So let's go ahead and check the length of A and let's see if it's equal or not. So if the length of A is not equal to the length of B, what you want to do is you want to raise an error. So in this case, I'll just print something simple like um, I'll print unequal arrays. Okay, uh, of course you can do anything you want with this program. I just want to keep it simple. So for the sake of simplicity, I'll just give a simple error like unequal arrays. Uh, and this is of course an if statement. And if that's not the case, then what you want to do is you want to create an array C. And in that array C, you want to save the dot products of A and B like we discussed. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to be using a list comprehension. Uh, and in the list comprehension, we'll be taking two iterators i and j, and you simply want to find the cross product of i, uh, the dot product of i and j, and save it into the list C. So we'll say i cross j for i and j for every single i and j in the zip of a and b. So why are we using the zip function here? Basically, the zip function is going to be taking in two iterables here, a and b, and it's going to return us the iterators for i and j. That's basically what we want to do. So for every single element of a and every single element of b, we're going to be making this comparison right here. We want to find the dot product, so we'll be multiplying them, and whatever value we'll be getting, we'll be saving it into this list c. And finally, what you want to do is you want to print the list C once you're done with it. And that's basically it. That's the program. Let's go ahead and uh, look at an example. So let's say we had a list L1 and we'll use the same values 2, 3, 4. And we had a list L2 and we'll be saving the same values 5, 6, 7. Same values that we used for our example earlier. And we'll run the program that we created. We'll run the function dot prod and we'll be giving L1 and L2 as arguments. Let's see what the possible outcome of this is going to be. So as you can see over here in the shell, 10, 18, and 28 is the values that have been, re that have been returned to us. And that's basically the values that we were looking for. So 2 multiplied with 5 should give us 10, 3 multiplied with 6, with 6 should give us 18, and 4 multiplied with 7 should give us 28. And that's basically uh, the outputs that we were looking for. Uh, and let's just go ahead and see what would happen if we give unequal lists. So let's say I gave value like 5. So instead of saying 2, 3, 4, if I called in 2, 3, 4, 5, let's see what the output of that is going to be. Let's go ahead and run this program again. And as you can see here, we're going to be getting the output as unequal arrays because the number of elements in L1 do not match the number of elements in L2. And that's basically, that's the program. Uh, I'll be sharing the source code for this uh, in the description below. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. And thank you very much for watching.